Hey, how's it going? Brian here from RVWithTito.com. Now this channel is all about DIY projects for your RV. So if you wanna learn how to do your own RV upgrades and repairs, that'll help save you money, that'll help build your skills and help you get the most out of your RVing experience, like being able to use solar in your RV, then start by subscribing to this channel. Now in this video, we're gonna talk about a new product that I just received for uh, some testing and review from Lensun Solar. And it's a complete solar charging solution that believe it or not, fits in this bag. It's the uh, 200 watt solar blanket from Lensun Solar. Now, yeah, I said 200 watts. So we got 200 watts of solar that you can fit in here, super compact, easy to store, and uh, it includes a solar charge controller, all the cables, and the solar panels themselves uh, to give you a, a solar charging solution for your, uh, for your camper, RV, van, whatever. So we're gonna dig into this and uh, see what it can do. So if you're looking for a really compact solution, uh, this might be something to consider. Now I'm gonna also show you uh, how I plan to use it on my RV. I've been thinking about how I might mount it and I've come up with a couple of ideas that I think are gonna work really well. So let's dig into it, uh, do some testing and uh, see what we can do with this. Well, first of all, I really like the fact that this is, that everything's all separate. So everything is uh, just interchangeable with these uh, connectors. These have nice heavy duty Anderson connectors on all of the accessories here. Uh, even the solar charge controller has Anderson connectors. So you could even just use this panel without any of the accessories, just using your Anderson connector. And it even has a, uh, an MC4 adapter so you just plug that in here and then you can plug this panel if you just wanted to use the panel all by itself into uh, you know an existing charging system if you have a charge controller already and just plug it into any MC4 compatible uh, input so that's that's really handy right off the bat the panel itself you know you can just use this uh, all by itself it has uh, it looks like 12 of these individual small solar panels on there they're all looks like they're probably connected in uh, series uh, to give you this 200 watt output now I looked at the specs and I think it's rated at the operating voltage is about 18 volts and the uh, operating uh, current in amps is just over 11 amps so without any uh, kind of boosting or anything like that you know this is a 200 watt rated uh, solar panel. So pretty handy, pretty versatile. You can move it around, uh, conforms to a lot of different surfaces. It also has these, uh, these little loops on, uh, on these. There's like four on each side and you can use these to hang it on something. I'd, I'd like to see these to be a little bit more heavy duty. I may uh, uh, mention that to them because I, I, I see myself using these quite a bit and I, I'm wondering if these will kind of wear out over time. So each of these panels also has an ETFE coating on them, which is really nice. They're really easy to clean. They're really durable. You can't scratch them. And they, they just look like this for a long period of time, as opposed to the PET that you see on a lot of semi-flexible solar panels, which is that shiny kind of glossy surface, which tends to scratch and uh, wear out quickly over a couple of years. So it comes with uh, a nice long extension. So if you wanted to move this panel quite a ways from your RV. I think this is a 15 meter extension again with the Anderson connectors on them so easy to just plug in here and run it to your uh, charge controller which is here. Now this is an MPPT charge controller so most of the portable systems you see come with a PWM charge controller where you can really take advantage of some MPPT charging which will give you a little bit of a boost in addition to the 200 watts uh, just right out of the gate with the uh, with this solar panel. So again these have Anderson connectors on them so we got our solar coming in, our battery coming out, 
Uh, this is for an auxiliary something. I'm not going to use that. But it also has a, uh, has a temperature probe, so it's going to probably adjust the uh, charging based on you know, the ambient temperature where this is. So uh, it doesn't look like there are any settings on here to be able to adjust the battery type and everything. So I'm just going to assume it's just going to do uh, just kind of a standard charging profile, which is typical for a portable system. This is a 15 amp MPPT charge controller. I think it uh, looks like it can take up to, uh, it says on here, uh, yeah, 15 amp and up to 55 volts input. So, yeah, nice little MPPT controller. Now, what you would do is you would just mount this close to where your uh, battery is that you want to charge if you wanted to do a, a more permanent mount for this. And then whenever you want to take this out, you just plug it in uh, to your to your connector here and you're off and running and it's gonna and you just already leave it uh, plugged into your battery or you can disconnect it uh, and then reconnect it when you want. Now of course if you wanted to you could do a more permanent uh, setup here for connecting to your battery and just wire up a, another Anderson connector and then just wire those uh, permanently to your uh, positive and negative terminals on your battery so you wouldn't have to use the alligator clips every time. Well, I want to run a couple of uh, tests just to see if we can get some power out of this and see how much power we can get out of this panel. But uh, leaving it on the ground like this uh, right now is probably not the most optimal setup uh, given that the sun's pretty low and uh, even a little bit of haze over it. So you know, the angle's coming in at about 45 degrees. So what I'm going to do is uh, is hang it from the side of my truck and uh, maybe we'll get a more uh, perpendicular uh, angle to the sun and, and be able to get more out of it. All right, so I have the uh, solar panel with the extension here plugged into the uh, MPPT controller and it's going into the solar panel input and I have a couple of uh, test probes here so I can measure my voltage coming in. So you can see right now it's uh, 21.45 volts and I'm going to be able to uh, use this uh, clamp meter to measure any current coming in here and then we can also uh, test the output coming out of the charge controller to this battery which uh, is going to be powering this inverter and uh, to create a load on it I'm going to use this adjustable um, heat gun. So let's go ahead and uh, run a test and see how it goes. There's still a little bit of cloud cover in front of the sun so I'll, I'll wait a few minutes and maybe that'll clear and will give us a little better result. Alright so right now coming right out of the solar panel I'm getting about 7.6 or so amps 7.5 and uh, 16 and a half volts going into the charge controller so now coming out of the charge controller it should be a little bit higher so I'm going to measure the current now coming out of the charge controller so yeah right now I'm at nine and a half amps that's uh, coming out of here going through the battery and uh, going to the uh, inverter now another thing I noticed uh, just now is that this uh, panel seems to be pretty shade tolerant. So right now I'm getting about 7.3 amps right out of the solar panel before the uh, charge controller and all that. But uh, if I stand in front of this here, so I'm shading like a third of it or a quarter of it at least, I'm still getting 5.8 amps out of the uh, out of the panel. So if I stand right in front of it. <laughs> I'm shading like half of the panel. I'm still getting four amps. Ugh, I can't cover the whole thing. But yeah, still getting four amps uh, being drawn out of the solar panel. So that's uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good in terms of uh, shade tolerance. Now, while I was testing, I was uh, paying attention to this uh, solar charge controller and kind of checking it out. And you know, obviously, when we when we did do the test, you know, we saw some 
MPPT boost to the MPPT part of it seems to be working really well. Uh, you know, we saw some you know, lower current coming in with a higher voltage coming in and it converted that successfully to higher current, you know, sometimes boosting it up to two or three uh, even more uh, amps. And, uh, you know, once it lowered the, uh, the, the voltage on the output to match the battery charge voltage. So that worked quite well. Uh, there are no real settings on here that you can change. So I mentioned that earlier. So you're pretty much stuck with, with what you get and it detects your system uh, voltage so it'll detect the the voltage of your battery and adjust accordingly and I think the charging profile is pretty standard uh, probably like 14.6 to 14.8 volts uh, to bulk charge and then um, I think it floats at about 13.8 or something like that but the other thing uh, that I learned about this is that it only works for for a lead acid battery so if you have a flooded battery or an AGM, then it should work just fine. Uh, if you have a lithium battery and uh, you want to use it to, with this, it's not going to work. So I actually tried it uh, with this little lithium uh, iron phosphate battery that I have. And it, this one has a, actually has a built-in battery management system. So when I hooked it up, uh, the, the, the charge controller that came with this package uh, didn't work with it. In fact, there's a little red light next to the green charging bl blinking light. Then the red light was flashing, and uh, and then it wouldn't. Uh, it the charge controller wouldn't output any 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 current or voltage. So I'm thinking it's just not compatible with with lithium. If you do have a lithium battery, then you know with the battery management system built in, you're going to have to use your own charge controller. And if you do have that setup you're probably already figuring that out that <laughs> that's the case with a lot of things with lithium but um, but otherwise it seems to work okay with with flooded AGM or uh, you know regular lead acid battery for for an inexpensive little MPPT controller it seems to work okay now another thing I want to point out is uh, as I was moving the uh, the panel around as I was hanging it using that bungee cord from the uh, the rack on the truck uh, my suspicions were right uh, I was using those little tabs on the side and and one of them actually broke and I thought I had this uh, when I was filming it but I didn't have the record button uh, pressed at the time but but it did break and you know so I, I think uh, you know a, a stronger some sort of stronger mount on the side would be a good improvement uh, I could probably modify this to put some to put some grommets in there. I think something like a grommet or something that's really sturdy that isn't gonna pull apart because of the stitching is, uh, is gonna be a value because I'm gonna use this uh, to hang it quite a bit, I think, and uh, I need those tabs to be, to be really strong. And I think uh, because they're there, you know, you might wanna hang it from a tree or, or whatever as well. And I, I, I think that's a good improvement, you know, if Lensun wants to make that improvement to make this, uh, this setup even better. I typically carry an extra 200 watts of solar in addition to the 600 that I have on the roof anyway just as a as an auxiliary uh, source of sun and solar power when the sun's low because you just it comes in very handy at times to be able to just get a little bit extra solar in the morning in the evening or when the sun's low and you're parked in an odd uh, location or you might even be in a shady spot and you need to run a solar panel out into the sun now I'm going to try to use this uh, solar blanket instead of my my current uh, two 100 watt uh, panels that I normally carry and I'm going to mount them to the RV differently. So I picked up these uh, these these suction cups. These are heavy duty suction cups that I uh, I've used in other projects before and you may have seen them but they're, they're designed for paddle boards but this also comes with a nice little clip on here so I can clip these to the uh, the little uh, little hooks on the uh, on that solar blanket and I can mount them to the front of the RV here the side or here in the back Now I'm gonna go ahead and drop a couple links in the description to the Lensun website and I believe they may have an Amazon 
link as well, an Amazon page where you can learn more about it and uh, dig into the specs a little bit more if you want to. Now I do plan on using this a little bit more and uh, putting it to the test in a more of a a real boondocking situation for for a period of time and I'll see how it holds up and maybe even come up with uh, some some different ways to mount it and use it on the RV but if you end up uh, picking up one of these or something similar and have some comments and feedback as well feel free to come back and, and leave those in the comments here for the rest of us now I hope you enjoyed this video and this review and uh, if you did give it a thumbs up and uh, I will see you in the next one take it easy